So we're in the middle of filming a very epic Pokemon Arena video, which is sponsored by Asus, and they've sent me this Pro Art pen display. The cool thing about it is it's a digital drawing tablet, but it's one of the highest color accuracy statistic monitors that you can get, and it's 4K. So it ticks a lot of boxes, and I'm really excited to check it out, but I'm actually filming the early promo stuff, and I've only just taken it out of the box, so let's show it off. Boop. Oh. Hey! I mean, that was painless. One cable, and I have a tablet and a 4K display. That's, that's actually nuts. This is the first time I have a portable display that is a one cable display, and it's 4K. That's actually incredible. Do these work with iPads? Go get your iPad, that's <laughs> I haven't got my iPad with me. Uh, I have mine, go upstairs, it's on my desk. The first test is, does it work with, with an it iPad? It doesn't work at all, yeah. Oh! <laughs> can or, you use it as an extension? Yeah, that's what I was wondering, if you so can set you... the screen mirroring to be like a, an extra display. Oh, so mirror, not mirroring. Display, yeah, oh, no way. There you go. <gasps> That's it. It's literally a second screen for an iPad. So I don't know what I'd do with this because I, I don't use the iPad for much, to be honest, but let's test the toggle. I mean, I edit DaVinci da with DaVinci Resolve on my iPad now when I'm, when I'm, really? at, when I'm out and about for like no stories and stuff. That's crazy. So having a second screen for that may be like a game changer That's for That's really That's cool. Very, That's... All right, now's the test that matters most, the drawing test. How does the pen actually feel? It, it feels really nice. It, there's like, it's silky, I think is the word. This is, look, this is an advertisement, but at the same time, like I'm get, I'll give you my honest experience. I've worked with ASUS for years, so I wouldn't work with a brand in long-term capacity without 100% loving what they do, who they are. So I, I believe in what ASUS makes, and I know anytime I get anything from them, it's gonna be really great quality. This is definitely on par with any of the best drawing experiences I've had on a tablet. Just right out of the box, having this stand feel sturdy, like, and be built in. Like the fact that this low end stand is at the top end means that like there's gonna be no wobble or waggle, like it's actually really robust. I love that there's no like driver or anything. You I've, I've just plugged it in and then I can draw. Like that's, yeah. that's so good. It used to, this sort of thing used to be so complicated, like getting the right driver for the right device. I started digital art when digital art was sort of starting, which is kind of an interesting experience to like go through like the earliest versions of drawing tablets to something like this is like, but even in just the last few years, this is leaps and bounds immediately, just in the early setup and experience and immediate use is just totally painless. I love it. This this act this feels fantastic. But um <gasps> <laughs> it's fairly normal these days for pen tablets to be touch displays as well, right? That's not what I'm surprised by. What I am surprised by is that it took that long for me to touch the screen in a way that triggered that when I was focusing on drawing. Most drawing tablets have touch and I always turn it off because I hate it. This has touch and I didn't know it had touch See how far away the pen is from the screen where it registers it? So like, I'm quite distant here. That's the, that I think is the determining factor because as soon as that's detecting the pen, it's rejecting the palm. So a lot of them probably have it too close. That concludes our first impressions. We've got to get a few more promo shots, um, but I'm going to take this home and continue vlogging and sharing a bit of the experience and show you how I'm going to set this up on my on-the-go setup because this is going to be my on-the-go. It's gonna be my at home and my on the go tablet and second screen now, which I love. Okay.
the uh, the review will pick up a little bit later, but I'm going to get a good uh, good chunk of use time in tonight because I have to start late. We're releasing a Kickstarter at 6 a.m. tomorrow for tabletop time, so I have a whole bunch of work to do, but I have a pretty cozy setup, so I'm just going to tuck away at it, get some work done while I watch some TV and keep the puppies company. Okay, so I've been using this for a couple of days now, and there's one quality of life thing that I really wanted to work, and it has worked, that I'm really happy about. So let me just show you. This is my home set up. This is our little office nook, uh, and it's perpetually very messy. I always have a second screen when I work from home. The previous one I had was also USB powered, but in theory was one of those ones where you could just have one cable. The problem is I wanted to be able to work through this laptop dock, this A-Logic laptop dock, which has power running into it. So the setup I wanted was for that to power the laptop with one cable and then for the screen to plug into and be powered by the laptop dock. The previous monitor I had worked just as a USB-C into USB-C into the laptop, but then I had to have a second cable to charge charge the laptop. And I really like minimizing connection points, especially as I come and go. So I wanted one cable that did it all and it didn't work with the other screen. Whereas this time around it actually does, which I'm really happy with. So the first time I tried this, it actually worked with one cable into both. So if I unplug this, this is a USB-C into HDMI and USB and doop, there you go. Um, and it does work, but I did notice that there was just like a really faint flickering. But the fact that it actually just worked from one cable to that and then one cable to this was really cool. I think the faint flickering was just on the verge of it being in terms of like power draw. So that was fixed by just plugging in another USB-C, which gave it, which just meant that it has all the power it could possibly need. Now, do keep in mind that this hasn't worked with any other USB-C monitor that I've been able to try, let alone one with touch and a pen. Now, the fact that I have a setup where my laptop has one cable that charges the laptop and I have my second screen and it's just as simple as disconnecting and heading off to work is a huge boon, is a huge bonus. And one I really wanted to work that way because I get home, open up, one cable, done. No stuffing around. It's all about like ease of use, ease of transitions. And for me, that's a that's a win. Okay, uh, final little test is we have this random laptop from the office. I've tested the new ProArt display on my personal laptop, but with no updated drivers or any specific art program or recent use. Let's just see what happens if I plug this in. Side note, uh, this isn't a handle to pick it up and hold it by, which I did for the first few hours, which was probably needlessly dangerous. So, you know, don't do that to expensive equipment. It is a pen holder, very useful. It's working, yay! Look at that, okay. As simple as that. So that right up front is one of the biggest pain points that I've dealt with with other digital tablets. Downloading driver software, testing things, making sure it works. This is the first time I've had two seamless experiences. One on the digital tablet front where it just plugs in and goes with pressure sensitivity and I haven't had to do anything to fine tune, to calibrate, it just works, which is really, really cool. The second is the USB monitor style thing, because honestly, some people might get something like this with peripheral or occasional pen tablet use as a thought, because it's nice to be able to do that stuff, but also the fact that you can screw in a traditional thread mount and use it as a normal monitor, just powered by USB, could be someone's primary use case. And that actually tends to be my primary use case. Most USB powered monitors that I've used have a shortcoming in one direction or another. Sometimes the display works fine, but the lack of being able to stand it or mount it have been major issues. There's a brand of USB monitor that I use or have used that's magnetically mounted, which is cool in theory, but then in practice, I just find it feels unreliable. These stands feel reliable, not only just for on the go use, as I showed with the other monitor that we use in the studio a lot, the thread use and having it as a color accurate reference of camera work is just awesome. But then when it comes to actually drawing most 
portable digital tablets feel a little bit flimsy in terms of the stand. This feels really solid, especially, especially in this mode with this metal top stand down. That's about the angle I like to draw at. This one, not so much because you tend to push it around a bit, but I don't really ever draw at this high an angle. If anything, I tend to use this stand at about that angle and use it as a monitor. But when I draw, it's as simple as swapping those and going into drawing mode. That to me is super reliable, super simple, and I love it. Now, obviously, as far as reviewing goes, I'm biased. I was sent this by ASUS. I've worked with ASUS for years. I love their stuff and I love this, but I am biased because they sent it to me. They're sponsoring the video that I'm shouting this out in. So you can't take my review as an unbiased review. But I can say as someone who has experienced many digital tablets and multiple USB-C displays, I genuinely really do like this. And this will be my daily driver combo tablet. Would I use this as my daily driver art creation tablet? Well, going back to when I did art on digital tablets for eight plus hours a day, no. It's not large enough or heavy duty enough for as heavy duty as I have used digital tablets in the past to put up with studio level usage. But that's not what this is trying to be. That's what this is, which, you know, it's, a Huion tablet or a Wacom tablet is definitely much more robust, generally goes much bigger and is a very specific use case. This is trying to be more than the one thing. It's trying to be flexible and versatile and it nails that. And for, for my needs, as someone who doesn't draw digitally or animate digitally as much as I used to, I end up needing to use a pen for maybe an hour a day, if that. I use the monitor component very regularly and reliably, and that is very reliable. The color settings are fantastic. I was very easily able to color match this to my laptop. I know it should be the other way around because this is the color accurate display. So I could probably do it in reverse, but this was just too easy to just fine tune the colors to make it a cohesive experience between the two monitors. At the end of the day, I should or probably could get a color calibrator to calibrate my laptop to this because at the end of the day, this is the one with all the best specs when it comes to color accuracy and vibrancy. While we're at it, we'll draw a, a nice wow for the thumbnail. The pen back in its home. There you go, little thumbnail pose for you. Actually, let's hold the pen, shall we? There you go. Ooh. 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 There you go. That was my thumbnail photo session. My editors will pick one of those out. <laughs> out of the box, really exactly what it says it's gonna be. Will it replace your digital display drawing tablet in a studio environment? Probably not. But if you're looking for an entry into quality digital art creation and a really versatile display, I would definitely recommend this and I'll be using it myself. So that is this video. Thank you ASUS for sending it. Thank you for watching. And I, I, think, that's, I think that's it. It's taking this for a test drive and now I get to take it home and keep using it. So lucky me. Thanks for watching.